Well, we are in for a treat because Mfumo is making his way slowly but surely down to the water's edge. So he's coming towards Gallego Pan and we should get a really nice visual. Now I'm hoping he's going to drink straight ahead of us as he approaches like this. It will be perfect if he does because we will be in the prime place to watch him as he goes about his business. But he is slowly but surely heading straight towards the water. Let's see now where he decides to end up. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? To see the size of those paws. Massive paws. Are you going to drink for us right there? That's a good boy. No, he's just looking around, just making sure he decides where he's going to go. So let's just reposition slightly so that we're right on the same level as him. So I'm just going to quickly reposition while he decides to take a few, few mouthfuls. He should be here for quite some time because when lions have been eating buffalo, they tend to be quite thirsty. So somewhere around there, Senzo, what do you reckon? Is that good? I think so. I think that's a perfect place. Now you'll see he's going to drink standing up for a bit and then hopefully he'll decide to settle a bit and drop that back down and then he'll really get into it. Now we know that the Birmingham boys, we followed Tinio the other day and he drank for such a long time. So I wonder if Mfumo is going to do the same and have a record like his brother did. I think that Tinio the other day was somebody who tagged me in saying that he had been drinking for seven minutes was how long he drank for, which is absolutely unbelievable. Seven minutes is a long time. But we were talking about how they drink and at that stage, and for those of you that missed it, basically with cats, they don't drink like we think they do. They're not scooping water, they're using surface tension, and they close their mouth quick enough to be able to actually... Um, get the water in. So there we go. Senzo is showing you beautifully as he lifts up the rough tongue has surface tension and that pulls water up and then they close their mouth quickly behind it. So they're actually not lapping up too much. So it takes them a long time to get a very small amount of water. Joe, you say you love watching them drink. Well, I think we're being spoiled this after, this morning because we're in absolutely perfect place to watch this. And it's close. It's a nice small pan, so they're not very far away. So we can get really beautiful views of our boy as he has a drink. And he's such an interesting lion and form. He kind of does his own thing all the time. And I always like watching him. He's got character, this lad. His nice big cut under his eye just adds to all of that. You can see lots of scars on that face from a times that he has had to defend himself from his coalition members. Charlie, wondering if this is a natural water hole or water that's piped in. Charlie, it's water that is piped in. So it's in front of Gallego Camp. Now Gallego Camp is here for obviously the guests. And so there's a water hole just in front so that animals will come and drink. That's why they've got the camp here. Um, and it's un not uncommon to see camps with water holes in front. It's just so that when the guests are in their lodge that they are able to see some of the animals coming down to drink at various times. So they do spend a lot of time in front of these camps and it's a great water hole for cats to drink at because of its um, small nature that chances of having something like a crocodile here is very very slim and so these guys will love to drink in a place like this because they don't have to stress as much as if let's say they had to go to a bigger dam like Chitra Dam or something like that so they like coming to drink here it's also pumped fresh water which makes it a lot better are you thirsty, my boy? Often when they feed like this, though, they do get very, very thirsty. Take care. Are you wondering how many liters he would drink in one session? Well, they generally will take on about seven to eight liters a day. So you'll find maybe 
they'll drink two, three times a day, depending on how much food they've eaten and, and how hot it is. So I would imagine that in one setting, they would probably take on a liter, maybe a liter and a half. Not as much as you would think. Like I say, when they drink for this long, you think that they're drinking a lot, but the actual amount of water that's going in is very little. So I would say maybe a liter at the most in a session like this. You can see he is very thirsty though. I'm surprised he hasn't settled though. I'm surprised he hasn't put his bum down. It can't be comfortable to be sitting in that position. It looks very awkward and with that big belly, maybe that's why he's not put it down. It's just so full that putting his belly flat is more uncomfortable than actually standing like that. And a little lap swing, laps with blacksmith lapwing not a lapsmith blackwing a blacksmith lapwing that's arrived not very happy about the fact that there's a male lion drinking at its water hole that's what you're hearing in the background that tick 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 oh, i think umfumo's done now i don't think he's interested in doing any more You see he's watching because you can actually see some of the guests that are and staff that are working at Gallego. They've walked out to see him, so that's why he's watching in that direction now. He's not too phased by it. Come on, settle down. Put your bum down. You're going to be a lot more comfortable if you do that. this cool though to see it's so very very epic we've been absolutely spoiled by the Birmingham's the last few days now there's super exciting news it sounds like Byron has followed that female and has got the first visual of these little cubs so let's quickly go across to him